morning welcome to the vlog um, it's a few days before Christmas and I'm off on a range test um, I've got about um, 100 miles to do today and on a good day this car will do 155 miles on charge with no problems it is much colder uh, it's 4 degrees out uh, at the moment I have 100% charge I have 100 and 60 miles showing on the GOM um, and I've got 44 miles to do to my first uh, charge uh, first uh, stop admittedly this it is all uphill and down down so we'll see so this is a range test today to see what we can get on a much colder day so anyway we're heading off because I need to go from uh, where I live to the north coast to go and collect a Christmas present so right I'll come back to you when we get there uh, or unless we see something on route that's interesting the weather's horrible but there you go it is Christmas what I didn't mention, and I can't, like, I'm sure I didn't mention it, is I'm actually using the Bonnet app today, which um, out of every app that I've tried, um, yes, it doesn't talk to the car, and it does a lot of it on guesstimate. Um, it says I'm going to arrive with 72% battery. Um, and even I think that's a bit um, gener generous, should we say. Um, I'd be very surprised if we do the 44 miles and I have 72% battery left. I'd like to be proven wrong, especially in these cold conditions. So, um, and, uh, well, there we go. There we go. I think, I think, I've just passed Lisa on 1602. Um, she's at work today while I'm off out um, getting presents and doing things. This has been my <laughs> only opportunity. We've just come back from Australia, uh, then we went to Winter Wonderland, um, then work. Lots of work since we've been back, so not had the chance. So, anyway, do I arrive with 72% battery? That would be good if I do. Well, I'm just on the outskirts of Launceston and it's now told me that the way I need to go is closed uh, due to something I've no idea it just said road closure so in total it's going to be 50 miles I would have done from home to where I'm going um, I definitely can't see me arriving on 72% having said that uh, we've done 23 miles there's 87% left in the battery and 139 miles showing on the GOM. So, ish, ish. Um, but I just thought I'd update you that um, we've got a little bit of a detour now, so I'm definitely convinced we're going to use more than 72%. Uh, the wind it has been terrible overnight. Um, and it's still very windy now. I don't know if you can see it in the, in the trees as we're going past, uh, but they're certainly a bit blowy, which obviously has an effect on the car, especially smaller battery cars like um, the i3. Right, uh, let's keep going. It says we're going to arrive there at 11.57. Well, I decided to tempt it and come the way it told me not to, to see if I could save miles. And I think this is a delay. Um, I think this is a an ambulance on a job that is um, blocking the road, according, looking at that. Um, as you watch, we'll come around the corner and then there will be, uh, there'll be roadworks. Uh, no, it all looks fairly good. So it is purely um, that ambulance that was blocking the way um, obviously they're on a job um, it's causing the issue so 
but this looks positive it looks like I'm uh, actually going to go back to the original mileage which is good right we're about um, halfway there 136 miles on the GOM we've done 26 miles and there's 85% battery left so um, let's keep going let's keep going right we are finally um, just on the outskirts where we need to be um, I've had a couple of delays as you as you know but I am absolutely amazed um, I th but it, we've now got 74% uh, battery and 118 miles in the GOM and we've done just short of 44 miles um, so bonnet app is um, <laughs> it's good it is very good um, it said I'd arrive with 72% and I was very um, so no, well, that's very generous um, which is about to pull up in the car park I need to be in and um, I've got 74% 74% charge uh, <laughs> I can't believe it I just cannot believe it. I think that's absolutely amazing. So uh, it's it's done proud. Um, oh, so it looks like the charger is off the line. So there is a charger in that top left-hand corner. Um, is a charger. So which? Oh no, there is. There's a Tesla on it so um, that's good so the charger isn't offline the charger does work I'm trying to find oh, the machine is there so let's find somewhere to see. I tell you what, I'm just going to drive round and round in circles <laughs> um, and then I'll park I'll park over where I thought I was going to anyway so, so I'll come back round again and there is the Tesla on charge to our left and it looks like they're desperately trying to fight to get it to charge so so how amazing um, I said it will never do it I said it would never arrive with 72% uh, you're right it didn't we've arrived with 74 so that's absolutely amazing. Right, let's go and get this present and get ourselves back and running again. Right, welcome back. Uh, everything collected. I've now got to head from Bude across to. Um, Liscard. So let's go and do this. Right, um, I've had the car on precondition. Um, it's taken down to 73.5%, 128 miles on the battery. Uh, 100, yeah, 128 miles and 73.5%, and 44 miles covered. So I'm now heading to Liscard. Um, this says it's an hour and two minutes and 36 miles. Bonnet says I will arrive with. Um, oh, hang on a minute. I will arrive with 50% charge. Again, I think that is very. Um, generous, but. The way it's going it's probably going to be right um oh, it's really cold out there and my lips are freezing um so fingers crossed it is right um we'll come back to you when we are either 
saying no it's wrong or we're arriving with enough charge back presently right bit of an update um, I'm now at 50% battery which is where it said um, I would be when I arrived in Liscard I've still got four miles 4.5 miles to go to Liscard um, so 50% battery I've done 84 miles in total uh, and no I haven't I've got I've done 75 0.6 miles in total and I have 84 miles left in the GOM so a little bit of discrepancy there on the wrong side this time um, but then having said that we did allow the battery to sort of cool down after it was fully preconditioned from when I left so we're uh, pen silver now um, and it's going to take another eight minutes and four miles to get there. I reckon we'll arrive with about 45% battery um, as opposed to 50. But um, I'll come back to you uh, when we arrive in the car park and tell you how much battery I have actually got. Well, it looks like yet again I might have to eat a little bit of humble pie and say that the bonnet app is bloody good um, I said we had sort of like five miles to go and we'd probably be at 45% with regen and the hills we're actually at 49% and I have done 80 miles now on 51% uh, battery and I've got 85 miles left in the gong so I'm just about to um, pull up and park up and get the bits and pieces I need. Um, and then we've got one more bit to do. So I'm just going to park my car. Um, we go and get my bits from work and then we'll continue for the last bit of the journey. And we can work out how much battery we've actually used. Uh, over the journey and see if we actually lose loads in the cold weather which yes we obviously lose some but uh, all right that's us parked come back in the next bit hello welcome back well uh, I've been there a little bit longer than I expected to be uh, more Christmas shopping right um, we have got 49% on the uh, battery 80 miles on the GOM and 79.8 miles done it says we're going to arrive home with 45% battery so let's see how we go um, I would have covered around 80 miles and I'm looking to have about 70 miles left when I get home. Uh, if this is the case then during the cold weather preheating the battery uh, means that you're getting very similar mileage to uh, summer months. Obviously it is decreased a little but it's not a vast amount. It's not what I thought it was going to be. So anyway, um, I'll come back to you when we pull up outside the house and I can tell you battery state and how we've done. Well, I thought I'd just um, quickly come back to you. Um, what I've not looked today is what our uh, miles per kilowatt hour is. Uh, normally I average between 4.3 and 4.4 um, today surprisingly it's 4.1 which has really surprised me um, I thought it would be a lot better than that um, and to my horror um, we're actually I've actually used in the last 
four miles, four percent battery. Um, whether that's because the car has sat uh, for about two and a half hours um, and the battery's got really cold, I I don't know. Um, but I'm now at forty-five percent, which is what Bonnet said I would have when I got back um, so I've actually used a lot more in that short distance than I was expecting but I will come back to you when we uh, when I get uh, on my driveway and I can give you the final figures the final light switch. there we go so finally back I have done exactly 90 miles and we have 42% left in the battery. Uh, the GOM says I have 73 miles of range left. So we left here with 160. Um, so, yeah, um, i definitely under the impression that, let's just power the car down. Um, definitely under the impression that if you leave the car for a period of time, battery cools down and then you lose your miles. But all in all, um, I will work out the figures, but I think the amount you lose is very minimal. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. If you have, give us a thumbs up. If you don't already, please subscribe. And above all, ring the bell for notifications. Um, leave us a comment, tell us what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.